Hello and welcome. My name is Adam Griggs and I'm a research services librarian here at Mercer University Library. And today in this video, we're going to talk about how to search the American Theological Library Association Religion Database, also known as ATLA. Now to find ATLA, you just have to go to the Mercer University Library homepage found at libraries.mercer.edu. And then we'll come over here to the databases tab and click the letter A. Now the ATLA database is all the way at the bottom where it says ATLA Religion with ATLA Serials Plus. Now this database probably looks similar to other databases you may have used. Uh, we have the search fields here. Uh, so I'm actually going to start with a very simple keyword search. So I'm going to type in mysticism. So I'll search that. Now with any database, when, and whenever you're looking for research, one of the tasks is to really get the number of search results down to a manageable number, uh, but also targeted to your research topic. So in this case, we're down to about 13,000 results. It's quite a bit. So we need to start thinking about ways to narrow this down. One of the ways to do this is to use more keyword search terms. So we have here, we have a connector, and, or, and not. So the and is gonna narrow it down. So I can add as many more keywords as I want, and I can use and to really narrow it down, target it to my research topic. The or, on the other hand, is going to expand the search results. And then the not is used in case you keep getting results that are relevant. And so you can use the not to exclude certain keywords. So in this case, I'm gonna, I wanna narrow it down, so I'm gonna look at mysticism, and I'm gonna type in the term body. So I'm, in my research topic, I'm interested in mystic, mystical views of the body. I'm gonna search this. So now we're down to about 274. So this actually might not be enough. So maybe we need to think about other ways to go about searching. So one of the ways that we can do this is to change what we're searching. Okay, so right here it says select a field, optional. So you'll notice that we can do a full text search. Here it says all text. We can search just the abstract. We can even search for an author. We can look for mysticism in the title. What I'm actually gonna do is gonna, I'm gonna look for mysticism as a subject. And you'll, if you look at the results, you can kind of see how this is already working. So we have uh, these uh, records here, and there it says subject. And you'll notice it's already picking up some of these subject terms. And then for body, I'm actually going to do an all text. I'm going to do a full text search on the body. So I'm going to run that search again. Great. So we're back up to about a thousand. Um, now, there's a couple things that are going on here, right? So you'll notice some of these will say PDF full text, but some of them say find full text at Mercer. Now, Mercer may have access to this article. Uh, we won't know unless we click on it. But Atla is actually something that's called an index which means that it's actually searching records that are indexed by ATLA as opposed to ones that we have access to. So it searches more things than we can access online. And so if we want to exclude those results, what I need to do is click this button here on the left-hand side. So we have these filters, and this one says full text. So this is only going to show me ones that I can um, find online. And you'll notice there's another button here that's also pretty important. So we want to make sure that we are using peer-reviewed sources. So I'm going to click this button that says scholarly peer-reviewed journals. Great, so we're down to about 900 results. So that's that's a pretty good number. It's very manageable. So as I'm reading through then these topics, I want to look at some of these subject terms and see if they're relevant to my topic. Um, so I'm actually going to click on this one, the mystical body falling apart. So this one is obviously centered around uh, the Middle Ages in the West and the development of the Eucharist spirituality. Um, and so if I want to access this, all I have to do is go over here to the left-hand side and click PDF full text. And once that, once that loads, I have my research paper and I can get started. If you have any other questions or if you need help in any way, feel free to contact a librarian at Mercer University Library. Thanks for watching.